as you can see, we're on our created Google site, and one of the first things we want to do um, is create pages. Uh, what we are on is we're in Gina Russo's portfolio, um, and we're at the home page. And just to show you what we're kind of using as an example is if you go to the adpcenter.org and then click on ePortfolios, you'll actually see an example of an ePortfolio. And in a way, we're recreating this because this will be the final uh, sidebars that we're going to put in. You're going to have control over the look and the wording and the content that you put in there, but these are the sidebars and the pages that you're going to want. So we're going to go back to Gina Russo's portfolio. So this is the same type of thing we were just in as an example, uh, but it does look different uh, because we haven't added the content yet. So on this page, to edit this page, we would always go to a pencil. That's going to edit whatever is here. Uh, the plus and a little black page is going to be a new page. What I like to do, and this is my practice, uh, you can do it as well, is I like to organize what I'm doing in a document so that I have it all written out. These are the sidebar pages I'm going to need, so I'm going to create these pages. Uh, eventually we'll learn about pages not in the sidebar, and you'll see what that means. But uh, right here I know that I'm going to take copy autobiography, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to create a page, and I am going to paste that in. Now you can see here, the URL for this page is Gina Russo's Portfolio Autobiography. So I can really name it anything, and it's going to be unique because it's to this uh, site itself. So I am going to put page top level. I'm not going to worry about that right now, and I'm going to click Create. It's going to take me right to the autobiography page. It's going to allow me to put content in, but I don't want to do that just yet. I'm going to just create pages. So I'm going to save that. As you can see on the left sidebar, I have home, autobiography, sitemap, and I'm going to add another page. And I'm going to go back and see what my page is. Now you probably will remember what you're going to name your pages, but I'm just, this is the practice I'm going to do. And I go back and I'm going to paste that in. And I'm going to create that page. Okay, and again, I'm not going to put my content in there because I want to kind of get this all organized first before I move on to the next step. So I'm going to add instruction. Okay, and we're just going to hit create again. We'll click save, and it'll be there, right? And you can see there. In alphabetical order, we will change that later, but right now I am just going to continue creating pages. And I would go through and I'll finish this at another time, but I want to show you pages not in the sidebar. I'm still going to create those now. And when you're more comfortable, you don't have to do this all at the beginning, but I just like to get it as much organized as possible. And you can see all of that there. And save. And now, if I go to my home page, you can see I'm back whenever I click on this, I'm at Gina Russo's portfolio, you can see my sidebar, and I've added all of that information on the left, and it's in alphabetical order, and in another uh, little screen video, I will show you how to edit your sidebar.